smells like woods and campfire and fresh mountain air. Bozeman is surrounded by a number of mountain peaks and trailheads. We head about 45 minutes outside of the city to the Highlight Reservoir and check out the views. Bozeman is known for its wide open spaces, big sky, and slower pace of life. We drive down the mountain into town, pass by a number of farms and cattle ranches, as well as some brand new developments. We worked up quite an appetite hiking, so it's time to eat at Montana Ale Works. They have an extensive local beer list. We order the Huckleberry Cream Ale and the Bison Wonton Soup and the star of the show, a classic Montana ribeye. You can see my breath. We're up bright and early at a chilly start to the day for the Bozeman Half Marathon and 10K. So this is the weirdest run so far. We woke up at 5.30 to take this school bus. They dropped us off in the middle of nowhere. There's just some porta potties, and we don't even know where the race start is, and there's nobody here yet. We're thinking that this might be a social experiment. We don't know. Yeah, like I said, we out here. And just like that, the starting line is here. The race turned out to be super fun, and it ended on Main Street in the downtown. Along the way, we passed by some historic homes and beautiful farms. The altitude at 5,000 feet definitely knocked the wind out of me at the start of the race and added an extra challenge to this run. By the way, if you're liking this video so far, thumbs up down below and subscribe. Since the run ended on Main Street, we decided to explore, check out some of the art galleries and shops. There's a lot of comforts that you would get in a larger city with quaint touches, including the country bookshelf. We browse for our next read and also check out the staff recommendations scattered throughout the shelves. If you have any book recommendations, put them in the comments below. Main Street also has a number of boutiques which make the perfect place to find a souvenir from the Treasure State. He's jamming out, post-race beer. We're at Burke Park for sunset. Burke Park has an easily accessible trail with beautiful views of the downtown. Now it's time to check out what the nightlife in Bozeman has to offer. Main Street is covered in beautiful neon signs and vintage buildings. We check out Hotel Baxter. This is a historic hotel and inside is Bacchus Pub, which has a European old world flair mixed with country western. Lots of art galleries in town. So right here, under the heist, we have the Treasure State Hostel. It is actually in a basement. And the rooms have no windows. And this is the hostel. They do have a piano. Saturday morning. Historic Main Street looks totally different during the day. This area has a stunning collection of buildings from the late 19th and early 20th century and was added to the National Register of Historic Places. We grabbed some coffee at Zocalo, one of our favorite work from home spots. The coffee shop has two levels and even has board games and books that you can rent while you sip on a latte. And while you're in Montana, you gotta order something with huckleberries. 
After fueling up, it is time to hit the road to Mount M, the classic hiking trail in Bozeman, just outside of the downtown. Mount M sits about 6,000 feet above the city and took us about 45 minutes to complete the one to three mile trail. What do you think about the trail so far? Getting our workout from all that breakfast. Oh, this view, look at this alpine view. It's like we've plopped into a Bob Ross painting. And we're gonna put a happy little bush right down over here in the corner there. And that'll just be our little secret. We made it to the forest. Wow, this hike just changed terrain major. We are now in the forest. This kind of reminds us a little bit of the Helena hike. We start our tour with a bird's eye view of the city from Mount Helena. The views are awesome, mixed with the Missoula hike. We are hiking the M Trail. This is one of the most famous hikes in all of Montana. As you can see, we're already getting some great views. Mike, what's behind you? That Mount M. It's all made of rock. We have like these cicadas behind us making little chitter chatter. This is called the Story Mansion. It's a restored carriage house. So this served as the SIGEP fraternity house until 2003. And the Byron Story Mansion was owned by Thomas Byron and his father was a Montana cattle baron. We hit up a few of Bozeman's must-see spots, including the Pickle Barrel, which specializes in massive sandwiches followed by the Museum of the Rockies, which is run by the Smithsonian and includes dinosaur bones. T-Rex is named Big Mike. And we can't leave Montana with one last steak, so we hit up the Mint Cafe for a bison steak. So there you have it, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe down below and stay tuned for the next one.